Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Today we are taking a look around this Galleon 380 Fly. Um, we're down in Loch Erin here, County of Fermanagh, Northern Ireland, taking a look around this stunning 39 foot Flybridge cruiser. This boat is uh, 39 foot long, almost 12 and a half feet wide, it's only got 290 hours on the clocks. It has been very lightly used, it's only ever been in fresh water as well. Fabulous spec with a pair of Volvo Penta D4 260 horsepower stern drives. Bow thruster, gen set, teak decks, full cockpit covers, camper covers, tonneau cover, um, you name it, this boat has it. Really nice one, in immaculate condition throughout. Big, a big selling point of this one is that it's actually a three cabin boat, so it sleeps five in three separate cabins. So taking a look around the exterior, it is a really striking looking boat. Beautiful sort of teardrop shaped side windows with a nice uh, sort of ice blue reflective tint to them. She has uh, grey camper covers that were made for the boat brand new in 2019, I think. Tonneau cover and uh, wraparound aft enclosure. We have sort of ice white gel coat, real teak decks throughout on the swim platform and in the cockpit. And the exterior condition is excellent. Gel coat's in great condition all the way around. Beautiful uh, chunky stainless steel handrails, rub rail, engine room vents. Gel coat's in great condition. I can't find any marks or damage on it anywhere around the, the port side here. Side, you got a chunky stainless steel swim ladder with these stainless steel handrails either side. It's all real teak in beautiful condition. Rub rail and stern corner on the starboard side is in great shape and the hull side up that starboard side obviously it's a bit harder to see on the starboard side but from what I can tell it looks to be in beautiful condition there as well. Stepping on board the boat is a breeze with this huge big swim platform. Whether you're boarding from the port side where you can go straight into the cockpit or the starboard side you've got this huge chunky stainless steel handrail all the way across the transom and then this beautiful stainless steel and smoked perspex door lockable transom door you know you've got real teak decking throughout a beautiful teak table nice navy white and blue upholstery on the the transom seat in there you've got stainless steel uh surround on your sliding saloon doors um we've got this beautiful folding teak table um so you can fold it up whenever you know you're you're not having a meal around it, it gives you a lot more room for moving around here so access up to the flybridge is via this nice, easy staircase. So it is a bit windy up here. Hopefully you can hear me okay. But we've got a lovely arrangement on the flybridge. Nice spacious flybridge. Got a huge wraparound seating area here on the starboard side around this round table. We've got a rotating helm seat and the helm station located on the port side of the boat. Coming into the saloon then via this sliding door, it feels nice and bright and spacious and airy and modern as well you know really modern finish on this thing these huge big hull side windows are fantastic the saloon windows you know that double teardrop shape Brilliant. solid uh, corian countertops on the galley galley up arrangement on this boat which gives you that third cabin downstairs i also think it's a nicer layout on these flybridge boats it doesn't feel like you're going down into a hole to go to the galley Teak decks throughout, real teak decking. Lovely U-shaped sofa here. Over on the starboard side, we've got this little twin, twin sort of seat here on the port side with TV behind it. And then a very spacious galley. Galley up arrangement, so you're standing. Great visibility all the way around. You can actually drop this window down here. So you get a nice bit of ventilation. You can do the same on the starboard side. So you really get, especially on a day like today, where it's super windy, you get a gale blowing through the boat, the boat here. Nice deep sink here, hot and cold running water, water stainless steel tapped wind, electric uh, hob here. And then there's this uh, microwave oven, which was actually a retrofit by the current owner. So this was only fitted in like 2019. Got a huge big fridge, isotherm, 12 volt, dual voltage refrigerator with a nice box. So nice big fridge. This galley is in beautiful condition and everything's working perfectly. Moving forward then, we have three steps down to this nice spacious companionway. We have the master cabin. 
So nice big island double berth with steps up port and starboard side so you can get in and out of bed without disturbing your partner. We do then have ensuite access to the heads compartment from the master cabin. On the port side down here, we have then day access to the heads compartment. Obviously there's the ensuite door into the forward cabin and then a nice spacious heads compartment. Uh, electric flush jab school toilet. Uh, there's a 240 volt socket in here. Nice little sink and vanity unit. Over on the starboard side then, we have our separate shower compartment. So standalone shower compartment means people can be using the shower and you're not tying up the, uh, the toilet compartment. The aft cabin. So this is a twin cabin on this side. So your sort of second cabin. So you've obviously got the VIP cabin, the main cabin up forward, and then you've got your aft guest cabin here. So lovely double berth in here, good size berth. You've got a mirror there. And then over on the port side, you have your sort of all important third cabin. So very unusual to find a 38 foot boat with three cabins, a full length single berth. And it's a decent size as well. You've got recessed overhead spotlights, Velour headlining, nice mattress. You've got, and then let's take a look around the helm station. So you, had, the helm st seat is elevated, so you've got clear visibility all the way around the boat. You can see over the heads of all your passengers back here as well. Um, and the nice big double wide helm seat. You'll easily fit two adults up there. Um, all finished the same leather upholstery as the rest of the saloon. This is the original Galleon owner's pack. So the full briefcase is here with all the owner's manuals. We've got the original VAT invoice on the boat um, and build a sail, so full chain of title. So jump it up on here, helm seat's in immaculate condition. The owner was telling me he actually, I think he's only ever driven the boat from, from, the, from the lower helm maybe once. He says he always drives from the flybridge helm. Um, so that means that you know there's literally nowhere on the helm seat, nowhere on the steering wheel, nowhere in any of the controls. The dash down here looks like it is brand spanking new, which is nice. The owner was telling me it does about 30 miles an hour or so top end, obviously with two, twin 260 horsepower, very economical, gets up on plane, no problem. He cruises usually in around 20 to 25 miles an hour. The engine room access on this boat is really straightforward. Uh, you don't have to like start lifting the saloon floor or any of that nonsense. You literally just lift this hatch in the aft cockpit here and it lifts up in two gas struts. You don't, you don't even have to take the table off. The table can stay in position. So we have two steps down this ladder and then aluminium checker plate flooring throughout the engine room. And the space in here is incredible. Just look how much room you have in this engine bay. All fully floored throughout. Bulkhead lights all the way around here, which you can flick on and off with this little light switch here. So you can illuminate the engine room after dark. And if you're an owner that likes to do their own maintenance, you're really gonna appreciate this engine room. It's like a proper <laughs> sort of man cave down in here. So we've got a pair of D4 260 Volvo engines in absolutely pristine condition. The engines are immaculate. There's no corrosion on them. Engine mounts, beds, everything looks completely pristine. As you come out onto the side deck here, you've got tons of handrails. So big chunky stainless steel handrail here. Another one as you move further forward, the bow rails come up to a good height very quickly as well. And then huge fore deck. Um, again, you've got this recessed area here, some cup holders in the centre, handrails down both sides. So that's ideal for sun lounging. Great windscreen on this boat. Big pantograph wipers for, for keeping the screens clear. So there you go, all moulded non-skid decking. Deck hatch under the forward cabin. And uh, good usable foredeck and all in beautiful condition. So there you go, that's our Galleon 390 flight. Um, if you're still watching this video, you must be very interested in the boat. And for that, I thank you because I'm sure I've rambled on for probably close to an hour in this video. We've taken a, as good a look as I can at, at, at the full boat, all the sort of behind the scenes, the engine bay, bilge compartments, all the cabins. I've sort of tried to go through it in as much detail as possible, just to give you a really good idea what this, the condition of this boat's in, the features and things, so that if you are looking at it from a distance, you sort of know what you're coming to if you're thinking about traveling or even if you're thinking about buying it on scene. 
Um, so yeah, apologies if it has been a bit long-winded, but hopefully it has given you a good idea of what this Galleon 390 is like. This particular example has to be the best one out there, I would suspect. You know, only really properly launched in 2018 with just 290 hours on it, only ever seen fresh water use, and a fabulous spec as well with the diesel gen set, the teak decks, the heating system, the anchor windlass, the camper covers, you know, all, you name it, it really has everything for inland navigating. And if you, the only thing you'd maybe have to do if you're taking it to the coast is add some electronics, you know, to your specifications. But other than that, it is a really, really nice example of the Galleon 390 flight. It's very seriously for sale at the moment. If you do want to come and see it, or if you want to arrange a sea trail or a survey, please don't hesitate to get in touch. The best way to do that is by giving me a call on the number at the top of our webpage, or you can send me an email to sales at gulfstreamshop.com, or you can fill out the callback request form on this page of our site, and I'll contact you at a time it's convenient. We can help with logistics of getting this boat transported to your home marina, be that throughout the UK, Ireland, or even Europe. Uh, we can also look at uh, part exchanges as well. Um, and we just, our aim is to try and make the whole buy-in process as straightforward and enjoyable for you as possible. So um, if you are interested in the boat, please, I would encourage you to give me a call and we'll see what sort of deal we can put together for you. Um, thank you very much again for taking the time to watch the video. I hope you find it useful.